Hey guys, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games Again. Uh, I just did a quick video, a personal video a moment ago and I'm kind of stuck in traffic right now. So I thought I'd do another personal video. The quality seemed to be okay of that video. I just, I just did a quick look. Uh, I am just jam packed in traffic right now. I'm gonna show you guys since I'm not moving. Just look, look at this. This is, um, oh God, I've got like 16 kilometers to go and all of this traffic is just horrible at the moment. Um, oh God, it's horrible. Ah, I better put this here because I'm about to move. And, but anyway, I mean, it gives me a chance to make some videos, which is very cool. Uh, usually I don't like to just sit around doing nothing and uh, I like to, you know, uh, I guess do something that's kind of interesting or, or productive, uh, but not give myself too much pressure to always fill time. Of course, it's just stupid, but I do enjoy these videos a lot, uh, making them, especially the personal ones. And uh, yeah, so anyway, the, the, the other thing that I was thinking about today, uh, the kind of topic of this video is uh, quality versus quantity. I was reading on a, a forum the other day that was recommended by Java Experience. Hello, how are you doing, man? Good to see you. Uh, you, you commented a couple of times and you'd, you'd given me a link to a, uh, a forum called makingmoneywithandroid.com or something like this. Really cool forum, really, really cool. Um, uh, you know, it's focused very much on like Google Play and a lot of other stuff that I didn't really, that I don't see very much on iPhone devsdk.com. So thank you for that recommendation. Uh, there's also a really cool thread at the moment which says how many games do you have and how much money do you make with games? And I'm going to talk about that maybe in a different video. Uh, but thank you for the recommendation and I, and I recommend it to other people as well. Check out that forum. Uh, one of the comments though in one of the posts was, uh, or, or the post that I just talked about was how many games do you have and how much money does it, do they make? And uh, you know, people had said, oh, there's like 50 and I make you know $50 a day. Or some people said, no, I have like uh, 30 or 20 or something and I make you know 100 or $150 a day. And uh, one guy said, uh, you know, some of them said, oh, I have two games a day and I make 500 a day and whatever. So. Um, and then one of the comments was, you know, you guys uh, should focus on quality and making a great experience rather than quantity. Uh, and obviously that the quality versus quantity argument always comes up, okay? Uh, and it is an argument, it is a debate. It's not just, oh, you should make the best thing and then that's it. Because it, then it wouldn't be an argument, it wouldn't be quality versus quantity, would it? Because it would just be quality there wouldn't be any argument or debate about it but there is a debate about it why uh, because let's say with games for example let's say with mobile games if you build something which is you really want to focus on you really want to make it awesome which I do as well personally I, I want to make something which everybody loves like Minecraft or you know an Angry Birds franchise or something like this the only problem is with that or the problem which I see with that is that it is highly risky okay if you sit down with a small team of let's say new developers a new team who have just let say they quit their job and they intend to sit down for the next six to eight months build this game release it and then you know uh, all become rich and retire is a big gamble it might it's unlikely to happen that the money will come in instantly from this first game unless they have some very good publisher support or unless they are really building you know a, a truly good game or unless they just get very lucky okay and so people say focus on quality if you've got the ability to either pay for a long time and really polish something over many many months then great you know totally go for it or let's say you're working a full-time job and your your um, your colleagues are also working full-time and therefore in the evening you can all work part-time and you don't mind you know working months and months and months and if it fails you're not gonna you know you, you're not gonna lose your you know your, that regular cash flow that you get from your normal job that's a cool thing as well but it, in my opinion it is high high risk and you know, I'll, I'll give you some real life examples is, um, I mentioned it before, Super Bit World, I must have spent around two or three months maybe working on that game, on and off. It, it, it wasn't two, three months straight by any means. But that game, you know, maybe only brings in now, uh, I don't know, 
two dollars a day maybe maybe three something like that uh, and other games that I worked on which only took me one or two days can sometimes bring in fifty dollars a day sometimes you know uh, the other risk is with quality is if you're uh, or focus, focusing on one game of quality the problem is that you are not if, if your account gets cancelled or if that game has any problems or if for all of a sudden that game drops you know in ranks because people got bored of it or you know whatever and then all of a sudden you, you you've lost your revenue stream so you might have success and you might be focusing on polishing that product because it's not just the polishing of the product it is the marketing and distribution and I've said it many 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 times is building the game and making a great game is only half the battle and I really really mean that it is only half the battle you need to have downloads marketing publishing and that needs to be great I, I really am not great at marketing and publishing right now it's something that I desperately need to it, it, we need to improve upon you know uh, and, and get better at for sure uh, so you know quality versus quantity it's like my if somebody speaks to me and says I'm, I'm building games now and uh, I want to I want to make something great or uh, how do I how do I enter this industry I say build it build it fast and build it kind of cheap as well now if I said that in sort of like a GDC forum, I'm sure a lot of people would, you know, start screaming and throwing cabbages or whatever, you know, oh God, you're wrecking the industry by releasing crap or whatever. Um, the industry is gamed anyway, Jesus. I mean, big publishers with a lot of money, a lot of advertising can spend the time to make something very polished and they can spend a huge amount of money on marketing to reach those top ranks and therefore smaller developers that fall to the bottom of the ranks, you know, are very unlikely to get uh, discovered uh, and if they do the numbers are not going to be very big so it's it's you know I think I think do things you know don't make terrible horrible applications or games or whatever make something that's you know it is fun it is short it, it gives the user some entertainment for a period of time maybe a short period of time but that that's what it does and that and if it achieves that goal and it's then it's met its purpose of, of bringing entertainment into somebody's life you know even if it's only a short piece only a short bit of entertainment uh, that's the whole point of, of playing games is for entertainment in my opinion and uh, so quality versus quantity you know it's not it's not a straight um, argument especially when it comes to revenue if you're not concerned about revenue then yeah build quality if I wasn't concerned about revenue then I would sit down and I would spend the next two years building something uh, that that was just amazing you know that I thought was amazing anyway and hopefully other people thought the same thing and yeah so it, it's not a straight straight argument and and I wanted to talk about that a little bit because I'd seen it on this comment and uh, just a few days ago so I'm curious what other people think about that do you agree with me Qu quality versus quantity should we make games fast you know our goal is to make a game one game every four days really only every four days we try to make a game uh, sometimes we do it, sometimes we don't, sometimes it's a little bit faster, sometimes it's a little bit slower. Um, uh, but the, the other one, uh, you know, the quality thing is, uh, uh, I, I, we made a game over the course of roughly six months at one point, and this was with a team of one developer, one artist, uh, one producer, and myself, and the game makes $20 a month. So, okay, so we just used all of that time the game was released, we were excited, we were happy, and then boom, it's, it, it didn't make anything. Now, the game quality is not very high. I'll be, I'll be frank, it's not a great game at all. That's why it doesn't pull in a lot of revenue. And that's why the publisher will not do marketing for the game, because the ARPU is low. So if they pay for $1 for one user, they're just not going to make the money back ever. And I wouldn't do it either as a publisher. Um, so, you know, people could say, well, make a quality game, you know, make a good game. But, okay, that's... It sounds obvious, but it's not easy to always make a great game. It's really not. It's not a. There's not a, a very clear science to it. You know, um, you could go out and copy Clash of Clans, but then you're not doing anything unique, and you might not get the audience. And players might just go to Clash of Clans to get the same experience, but it's better. So you know, the argument of just make a quality game is. Um, it's not that easy you know you can have uh, 